Future Design Podcast. And I heard like personal branding is very important now. I mean, it's kind of like across, you know, the board, right? Every, it's not specific to ASEAN, but um, it seems like there's more attachment to, you know, the person itself rather than the product or the company. For sure, yeah. I think um, maybe, I, I think in Asia, especially so, especially with K-pop and all yeah. of that, right? There's a lot of, there's a um, focus on idols mm. and influences as well. With that, that applies to anywhere. Mm. But um, yeah, you're right about personal branding. So a lot of it has moved away from uh, traditional advertising to recruiting people off the streets or, you know, it doesn't have to be someone who's particularly famous as long as they have a decent following on, on mm. social media. Um, they're a great way to access a very young market, mm. right? And a lot of people for actually a pretty low cost mm. yeah, compared to traditional media. Right. Yeah. I mean, if a lot of businesses are going more and more online, I mean, they yeah. start to lose a face to the company, right? I mean, before you might have a retail or the thing about e-commerce. I mean, mm -hmm. you go to a shop mm -hmm. and, you, you know, it's an auntie that you knew from a long time. And that's why you actually bought it because, you know, if you go to the you know, bigger chain store, it's probably cheaper. But because, you know, this auntie yeah. you still buy some stuff off of her. Yeah. right? And then now as it becomes more and more online, you know, there's actually no human relation to the company whatsoever and it's yeah, just a sure. platform that you just go on and it's kind of like in a way grab and uber is, is as well right because there's no face to to this right and, and there's no loyalty mm -hmm. to it other than you know you might get points and then you can redeem those points for certain services yeah. but other than that there's no personal attachment to yeah. online companies right there's That's no true. loyalty whatsoever i mean i don't care if, if i have a gojek price that's cheaper than Grab, and I'll go for the price, right? And I mean, you're not going to be like, oh, yeah, I love Grab because, I don't know, because I have this loyalty to Grab. Nobody yeah. has that. Yeah, Th that's actually one of the things we speak about as well. So um, how do you uh, maximize consumer engagement when everything's based online these days? Like you said, it's so doesn't they don't have that personal touch anymore, right? Some people just talk about things like, you know, crafting uh, a user experience. So if if they can create a sort of environment where uh, consumers have a good time or, you know, they associate positive feelings mm. with this product, then they are more likely to stick with you. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think that's the challenge now. How do you reach out to these people if you're purely online? Mm. So... There has to be a balance of offline uh, interaction as well. Yeah. And also, I think consumers are also becoming a bit more discerning about what they see online, right? Mm -hmm. A lot of people are like, you know, a lot of this influencing stuff is bullshit. Mm -hmm. A lot of people know it. Yeah. So how do you make sure it's genuine in the first place? Um, mm -hmm. It's changing a lot from what when it first started off. Mm -hmm. You know, people would pose with the product and be like, oh, I love this. And yeah. People don't buy that anymore. Now they're right. like, no, you have to declare if this is a paid ad or not. Right. Right? Yeah. Um, also, things like buying reviews, people know when it's bullshit. Mm -hmm. They can yeah. tell. And if they find out that it's fake, then that's it. Yeah. You know, backlash is huge. They're like, no, we're not going to trust you anymore. Right. So trust is such a huge element mm -hmm. of it. That's why I don't think you can rely on just online interaction with your consumers. You have to go offline mm -hmm. as well. Right. Yeah. And that's interesting because in that book also talks about the trust system. Yeah. And, and the first T is the trust. Mm -hmm. And the whole system is also called trust. So I think everything right now is is that everything that's online, it seems every, everything looks like it's bullshit yeah. because, you know, whether it's fake news or fake reviews, that's whatever the fuck it is, yeah. they're all, they're, you just automatically think everything's probably like made up. Yeah. And you just need to find something that you can connect with that you think it's honest it's true yeah and and i guess you know with the marketing that you do you need to bring out that trust exactly. more and more exactly um you know in the financial industry where you where i used to work um everybody said uh integrity yeah like it was freaking cookies right i mean <laughs> like it, it, and there was absolutely no integrity whatsoever right. but they just said integrity you have to show integrity um, but w actions didn't really show mm -hmm. integrity much. And, and I think it's kind of the same with the online world right now. And it's like, you know, they try to show trust and all that stuff, but it's kind of bullshit. And, and, and we're, we're always constantly looking for, 
you know, the honesty, yeah. you know, like the, the true thing. Yeah. Um, and that's kind of what we're struggling as a society too. It these is days. really difficult because if we are expri- we're, I mean, on a day to day basis, we're experiencing a huge disconnect from each other as well, right? Yeah. Or we just text all the time. We don't yeah. remember each other's phone numbers anymore. No one calls yeah. each other. Think you're a weirdo if you call them. <laughs> like, don't call me. I don't want to pick right. up the call. Right. Um, so that sort of disconnect obviously translates into business as well. Mm. Um, how do you keep people interested when attention spans are so low, mm. right? Mm. Um, in terms of your advertising, how do you get your message across in a hard-hitting way? Mm. You know, how do you craft it so that you can um, deliver your message in the shortest time possible? Mm. Well, there's two sides of it. Like, you know, if you see all these ads on YouTube, everyone wants to skip them anyway. Yeah. You know, they get Nobody annoyed. It. Yeah. No. In fact, it, it creates the opposite effect, right? Like, yeah. I don't want to see another, I'm not going to mention which ads, but, you know, yeah. then you just associate it with annoyance mm-hmm. at the end of the day. Yeah. So, whereas you have, um, for example, um, Thai advertisements, mm-hmm. right? Thai advertisements are known for being uh, very impactful. Yeah, exactly. So, they're long. They tend to be long, but mm-hmm. people are engaged. They watch it. They love it. How? Mm-hmm. You have to be different. You have to be genuine, I feel. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, and the story that you tell. Mm. I think that's one of the most important things. Mm. Whether it resonates with people or not. Yeah. Mm. Future Design Podcast.